Over the past few years, the pendulum seems to have swung back and forth a few times on different strategies for and benefits of marking individual instruments. The industry consensus seems to be that there is not a one-size-fits-all that works for every hospital. ITM, the software product for managing individual instruments, built around this essential need for flexibility. While many have convinced themselves that marking all instruments is the only way to go, many others have focused their investments in specific areas for critical reasons. By marking only items that go into peel packs, a marked instrument that comes through the SPD is recognized as a single and packaged accordingly. This has proven to be a simple and cost-effective method for managing the inventory levels of peel pack items across multiple services and storage locations. Some facilities often challenged with high staff turnover have found that building sets from instrument scans can facilitate learning while ensuring delivery of accurate and complete sets. Other facilities have sought to tie a specific instrument to a specific index set. This eliminates co-mingling of like items between like sets and can have significant control benefits in environments where CJD concerns exist. Many facilities have used the capability outside of the SPD where work is done on an exception basis with limited control and documentation and sometimes by non-certified techs. This affords the ancillary processing locations the same documentation and control capabilities as found in SPD. The first 2D technology to come to healthcare for instrument marking were variations of the lift and stick label. It was inexpensive to begin marking items, took no special equipment to apply to instruments, and provided a fast way for facilities to get started. The white mark against the black surface provides the contrast for consistently quick scans, but does require a thoughtful and disciplined application technique to ensure adhesion and stability. There are a few different laser-based marking options that generally share similar attributes. When properly applied, the mark should not disrupt the surface of the instrument, should not complicate the cleaning, and should not alter the overall integrity of the device. Generally speaking, these have a longer lifespan and have demonstrated themselves stable regardless of the method of decontamination and sterilization. With the proper equipment, there is little measurable variation in scanner response time. The HHP 6300 family of scanner imagers from Honeywell consistently stands out as the top performer regardless of marking method, instrument material, general condition, or ambient lighting issues. There tends to be a fairly logical sequence that, when followed, will guide the facility to the most appropriate method of marking. The number and type of instruments to be marked, the process the marks will be exposed to, specific infection control concerns the facility may have, as well as the short and long-term economics. Your microsystems representative is prepared to assist you and your facility with the next steps that will make for a successful deployment. A thorough review of requirements and objectives is essential to get this process moving in the right direction. This will be followed by an audit of inventory so the appropriate method of marking may be determined. The barcode hardware and other equipment required will provide the basis for understanding the total cost of the project so that a project plan can be built and adhered to. ITM, the software product for managing individual instruments built around the essential need for both flexibility and control.